Hey guys, Peyton Snayback here again for another DVD and Blu-ray update for you guys today. It's been about two weeks since my last one. I got some good stuff here to talk about. Um, 15 movies, 10 Blu-rays, and 5 DVDs, along with a Synapse Films, a limited edition uh, horror pack exclusive from Grindhouse, and many others. So um, let's go ahead and get started, shall we? Um, so the first one here I got... This is one I've been wanting to get on Blu-ray for quite some time. Um, I have seen the movie multiple times. Um, I had it on DVD multiple times because um, I because I know it came out from uh, Echo Bridge Home Entertainment a couple times. Like um, I think all except for the third film um, came out from Echo Bridge. Um, and you know when it comes to the sequels, I do like the sequel. The second one I didn't really like. Three and four were actually kind of decent. And I know everyone hates the remake. I like the remake, you know. It wasn't well, it wasn't really like a remake. Because I know, like, on a special feature, the guy saying it wasn't... He wasn't really trying to do a remake. He was a fam familiar with um, the original one. But uh, it was just basically just supposed to be its own movie. But I guess it's considered a remake now. But um, this is the original Prom Night here on Blu-ray. Um... You know, this is this movie came out in 1980. I know originally um, it was going to be um, Eve Plum, you know, from, you know, the Brady Bunch. She was originally going to be be Jamie Lee Curtis's character, but, um, of course, she didn't get that part, though. Which, it, it would have been interesting to see, though. I mean, I would have been that would have been really interesting. Because, you know, I like Eve, Eve Plum. Um, you know, she's done some good stuff in the past. Um, but this one, um, you know, this one it has uh, Leslie Nielsen in it. This is basically about, it starts off with a group of these little kids playing this game at this, like, uh, abandoned, like, place. Um, they're, they're, like, playing, like, this hide-and-seek game, and, uh, and this, um, one, one of, this one little girl ends up getting killed by accident. Well, she, she ends up falling from the roof, and she, she die, ends up getting killed by accident. Um, and, of course, you know, the kids are keeping it a secret. They're like, what are we gonna do? And, you know, and they don't want to go to jail for this, and... You know, they keep it a secret for all these years, and, and it's like years later, someone knows about the murder, and, um, you know, and basically, um, and the killing's not on till, the killing doesn't happen till later on in the movie, you gotta wait at least about an hour for the, the for the ki kill scenes to happen, but, um, it's on prom night, there's like, um, this guy in the ski mask is like going around killing people off, uh, kill, well, killing the ones that uh they killed the little girl um but that's basically what it is it's kind of like a revenge like movie but um i always kind of like this one um it's actually a really cool um you know slash movie um but i want to hear you get uh bring a new 2k high definition transfer from the original movie um an audio commentary uh horrors of hamilton high the making of um additional scenes from the television broadcast um and you know get just some other cool stuff and they're and there's actually um reversible art cover on this um right here. But I, I kinda like this cover better. It's always kinda like how, you know, like the guy in the ski mask, he has like the little knife up uh, or the uh the glass. You know, I, I always kinda like that image. Yeah, but um definitely check this one out if you guys haven't seen it, you know. Um of course like I said, this one has Jamie Lee Curtis in it. Alright, the next one here I got. This is from a. Uh, the horror pack. I know this came out in like a big set. But I didn't want to get that really big set that came out. Um, I don't know if I'll have enough room for it the way my collection is. Um, but so um, when I heard about this one, this came out from the uh, horror pack exclusive, which is a which I'm not signed up for that. I don't know if I'm going to sign up for that or what. But it's like a thing where every once a month you can get like a uh, four blue, horror movie Blu-rays, uh, or four horror. DVDs or both, um, and you have to pay, like, each month, uh, a monthly subscription for it, um, but, um, this one I thought was pretty decent, because I know I, I, I do like, uh, Eli Lops, Rops, The Green Inferno, um, I know this one was just as much as, like, The Green Inferno, and this, this was supposed to be, like, a found footage, like, maybe, it wasn't really, like, found footage, found footage, I thought this one was okay, but it was, it's called Cannibal Holocaust here on, uh, Blu-ray, and, of course, you know, this is, like, a the one that many people try to ban, um, because, you know, like, all the cannibalism in it, and, you know, and there was, like, things about them, like, killing, like, uh, these animals, eating them up and stuff, um, I know lots of people got disturbed by that, you know, I mean, most of the stuff, I mean, because it was, like, turtles, I think, and, um, I think it was, like, lions or, or something, I forgot what it was, um, that they were killing, but it was, like, a bunch of, like, stuff like I, I didn't really get, like, you know, 
it didn't start. I think it was one animal that they killed in here that, that, that disturbed me. I forgot what that was though. But um, but I I thought it was pretty decent. It's not my favorite, but um, you know, it is limited edition. And this could be an out of print one, so I will keep it just because of that. But um, that is, yep, Cannibal Holocaust here on um, on Blu-ray. All right, now this next one right here. I know I did that video on my top 10 favorite movies of 2019. This one I should have added on the list, um, but I didn't. Because I, I absolutely really love this one. I, I ended up getting... I did end up seeing this one in theaters. I thought this movie was really well done. I don't even know... I'm surprised Tom Hanks did not even... I don't even think he did win an award for this. Because um, I absolutely really enjoyed this one. This is called A Beautiful Day in the Neighborhood here on Blu-ray. Um... And, of course, this is the one with Tom Hanks playing uh, Mr. Rogers. Um, and basically, it was kind of like, um, this is, um, you know, the story takes place in 1998, the year I was born. Um, but, and it was like, um, I think it had to, what's his name? Um, I don't know what his name is in the, mo in the movie. Um, but he puts this guy, like, trying to interview, like, uh, Mr. Rogers. And, you know, the guy has, um. I think his name's Lloyd in the movie. Um, Lloyd, um, you know, he's got, got has like trouble, um, you know, forgiving his father and um, for something that happened years ago, and that's that's essentially what it is. But um, I actually did really enjoy this one. I thought it was really well done. You know, there there this should have been should have won for Rotten Tomatoes. I don't even know if it did. Um, to be honest, but I absolutely really enjoyed this one. Um, but if you guys. If you guys are a big fan of, you know, like, Mr. Rogers and, you know, um, like, the show, um, I know that documentary came out. I, I haven't I bought that because I know that came out, surprisingly, the same time this did on, on a DVD. But I will watch that and review to you guys in a future update. But if you're a fan of Mr. Rogers, like, this is one to check out because I absolutely really enjoyed this one. But on here, you get over 15 minutes of additional scenes, blooper reel, uh, Tom Hanks as Fred Rogers, the... The people who make a neighborhood the making of, uh, the puppets and miniatures, uh, practice makes perfect, and commentary. But definitely, this is one to check out. And this also came out the 4K, in case you guys are wondering. I don't have a 4K player, so. Alright, now this one right here. This one I thought it was okay. I know it, it's gotten a lot of good reviews, um, but I thought it was alright, but... This one I will probably put in my yard sale pile, but I do have it on my digital if I ever want to rewatch it again, if I like it better. But, um, you know, this movie was absolutely fucking weird, but, you know, it was alright for a weird movie. Because, you know, when I heard, the second I heard about the plot of this movie, I'm like, oh, I have to get it because I have to check it out. Because um, it was pretty weird. Um, this is a movie called Snatchers here on Blu-ray. Um, this movie is basically about um, this girl... Um, I think her, her ex-boyfriend was, like, in China or something, and, uh, I think he was, like, on vacation, and, you know, they get back together, and they both have sex one night, and it's, and the, the very next day after they had sex, she's, like, nine months pregnant, and it turns out she's pregnant with this creature, and it's, like, this alien of some, some sorts, and... You know, this alien is going around, like, killing people off in the town one by one. You know, such a weird movie. And I, I also thought, too, this guy over here, I, when I saw the cover of this, I thought that was David Arquette, but it's not. He's not in this, uh, in this movie. It's not him. But, um, you know, I, it was kind of gory, though, for a movie. I, I, I thought it was all right. But, like I said, I am going to get rid of this one. Because um, I, I don't know. Um, but I do have, like I said, I do have it on digital, so I... I use my digital code. Uh, but on here you get the, um, the behind-the-scenes look, uh, the blooper reel, and uh, commentary with the creators of Snatchers. But I, you know, I thought this movie was decent for what it was. All right, the next one here I got. Um, this movie I did not get to see in theaters. This, this came out a couple years ago. Um, I've been wanting to see this one for quite some time. I absolutely really enjoyed this one, you know. This is the Halle, Halle Berry movie Kidnap here on Blu-ray. Um, you know, she was in another movie that was similar to this, a kidnapping movie, which also I thought was really overrated, um, called uh, The Call. You know, that was the one with Abigail Breslin in it, you know, her getting kidnapped. And, um, you know, she's talking to Halle Berry on the phone, who's a who's like a cop on the, on the, on the phone. But this is her, basically. And this was kind of like, in a sort of a way, like... Um, 
Along Came a Spider. Another movie I, I like with Morgan Freeman in it. And that, I know the Blu-ray is out of print. I know it just recently came out with, with like, a burn-on-demand release. Um, but, the, you know, the movie is basically about, um, you know, Halle Berry. She, she has a son. Um, I think she... Uh, she ends up taking him to, like, this carnival or something, and, of course, um, and he ends up getting kidnapped, and these kidnappers are in this, like, blue car, and she's basically chasing after this blue car, and, of course, like, they're, like, putting a knife near his throat, and they're, like, going to throw him out of the car, and, you know, and, you know, she's, it's, it's her trying to save her son and trying to figure out what is it, what is it that these people want, or what is the reason for all of this, you know, but I actually absolutely really enjoy this one um very fun kidnapping movie you know it's very cool um but on here it just has a behind the scenes look of the movie but that's basically it but i absolutely really enjoyed this one all right this next one here i got um i hear this one's actually pretty good i i did see it and i i absolutely really liked it um this is a movie with uh drew barrymore and this is when she was like eight i, I don't know how old she was when she was in this but um this is based off a of Stephen King story. I um, mean, I know I bought this because I know uh, the remake is going to come out, and Blumhouse has something to do with that. So, And I love Blumhouse, so anything with Blumhouse, I want to go see in theaters, which, uh, you know, The Invis Invisible Man's coming out this weekend, so I really want to go see that. Um, and I did see the original, yes, because I reviewed about it a couple months ago. This is the movie called Firestarter here on Blu-ray, and I know this came out from Screen Factory. I didn't want that Screen Factory edition. I kind of like this cover, though. Um, this one has no features on it, but this movie was basically about, um, you know, Drew Barrymore is this kid who, um, you know, if something makes her angry, um, you know, she could set stuff on fire or set people up on fire, you know, just make all these, like, weird fires, like, going, like, um, but it's her and her father, um, they're running away from the police, cause, or, yeah, I think it's, like, the police. The police are after her, and, um, you know, because they, they want to take her into, like, um, the, an institution, try to figure out, like, what kind of person she is. And, like, um, just, like, see, like, why she makes all these, like, fires. Um, but it's them, like, trying to run away from them and try to hide from them and try to be careful with their surroundings, trying to make sure they don't get caught and stuff. That's essentially what this movie is, but really enjoyed this one a lot. Um, I know there was a sequel that came out. It was, I think it was, like, a direct-to-video sequel, which I'm not going to see that. Um... I don't even know if that even came out the DVD, to be honest. Um, but um, I cannot wait to see that remake of this that, that's coming out from Blumhouse. Um, but def really, really cool movie. Okay, the next one here I got. These ones I did not really care for. I didn't really think they were funny. I'm not going to get rid of this. I'm going to give this one to my mom because I know she likes these movies. And... Um, it's for her to upgrade them to the old VHSs that she has, but, uh, this is the double pack with, uh, Grumpy Old Man and Grumpier Old Man here on, uh, Blu-ray, um, which I, I thought was okay. I, I got, I kind of got bored with this one, um, but this is, um, like, like, I, I didn't watch the second one. I saw the first one. I just got bored with it, so I was like, you know, I'm not gonna watch this if I got bored, bored of the first one, so, you know, but, um, it was basically about these old old people um they they get in these fights a lot and you know they're fighting over this one girl that moved that moved in across the street that's essentially what it was but um i don't know i didn't really care for this one that much all right the next one i got and i know this movie is bad it's one of those movies it's so bad it's good like you know like troll 2 like that movie is so horrible but it was actually kind of cool i didn't really think it was that bad though um but, um, I never even seen the first, uh, movie of this. I just wanted to see the second one, because just from the, from the looks of it, and it is pretty cheesy and pretty weird and pretty bad, but it's, it's a, a good bad movie, but it's called, um, you know, Lake Placid 2 here on Blu-ray, um, and this is one, I think this aired on the Sci-Fi Channel, um, back in 2007. This movie was about, um, and this kid, he's... He has a crush on this girl, and, um, you know, they're, you know, you know, it's basically, like, you know, the, um, in this lake, there's, like, this, like, crocodile, or alligator, I don't know what it is, I can never tell the difference between crocodile or alligator, I don't know, um, yeah, it's a crocodile, all right, um, I'm sorry, I cannot really tell that much, um, to be honest, but, um, but it's, like, this, it's, 
And this crocodile is, like, killing people in the Lake Placid. I think the Lake Placid's, like, this lake. Uh, the, na the name of the lake. Which, I, you know, this movie... Like I said, it's it's a bad, it's a good bad movie. That's what it is. But I abs absolutely liked it. Um, yeah, but uh, special feature wise, you get um, some behind the scenes and Lake Placid Two, the gnarled up version. I don't know what that is to be honest. I don't know. If it's like a different version of the movie. Um, this movie, this is the uncut version, just to let you guys know. But they they made so many of these ones, and same thing with the Anaconda movies. Um, like I think the re. The latest one they came out was like back in 2018. It was called Lake Placid Legacy or something. I, I forgot what that one was called, but it was one of those direct to video ones. All right, this next one here I got, um, which I really hope one day Blumhouse can do a new one. I'm surprised I haven't talked about that yet. I think I think they may have talked about a part three a couple years ago, but not from Blumhouse. But hopefully, maybe like Blumhouse could do something like this, like do a new version of this. Um, because I could see them doing that. Because I know they were talking about doing an, another Thing movie. You know, the John Carpenter thing. Um, I think they were talking about Screen 5 for a while. Um, recently. Um, and I also think they were talking about Texas Chainsaw Massacre remake again. And I actually do like the original. I do love... Because I know most people like the, the remake that David Cronenberg did. Um, and that was a pretty cool remake. I did kind of like that one. This one was actually pretty cool. Just as good as the original... The, um, remake. This is called The Fly here on Blu-ray. This is the 1958 one with uh, Vincent Price. And, you know, it's kind of like the same thing as the David Cronenberg one. This one is like, um, about, um, I think it's Vincent Price who's like the scientist. And, uh, you know, he, he invented this, like, thing. that He invented, like, the, you know, the teleporter thing that can make something go from one place to, a, to another. And he tests it out on this cat and, on, on his cat, and the cat just suddenly, like, just disappears, and it's, like, into thin air, and, um, and I think he tries it on himself, and basically, you know, it's kind of like the same thing as the, the remake, like, he gets, he's half man, half fly, and, you know, like, but you don't really see the fly head until the ending, you know, because he's, like, covered, covered, covers himself up with, like, this, uh, black sheet, and, you know, and they're, and, you know, the, um, the wife is trying to, trying to find the fly that, that, um, that was in there, you know, this fly is, like, all kind of, like, white and stuff, this weird-looking, like, fly, but I absolutely really enjoyed this one, um, you know, it looks pr pretty good on Blu-ray, and I know this came out from Screen Factory, um, the, like, a complete set, um, like, from this all the way up until the second remake, um, which, you know, when it comes to that second remake, I thought that one was all right, the, the first one was, was probably the better one, I think the only ones I just want to stick with is this and the remake, and that's all. All right, and the last one here I got on Blu-ray. This one I just got done watching a few moments ago. Now, this one, I actually really like. I do like this one enough to actually keep, because I thought this one was actually kind of decent. It's not, this one's not perfect or anything, but, you know, it's it's really decent, you know, and Keanu Reeves does a pretty decent good job playing a villain in this. Um, this is a movie called The Watcher here on Blu-ray. This is one, it, I think it was origin, it ri originally came out from a, uh, to HD DVD. It was on there for quite a while, but it finally got a Blu-ray release back in 2014. But this is this movie's basically about um, the cops are looking for um, the serial killer who's uh, like going around like killing all these women and stuff. But of course, you know it's you know Keanu Reeves. You find out right away it's Keanu Reeves. He's this killer um, that they're after, and you know that's and, and basically the cops are trying to find out who it is and. But I think they, they know who it is, but they're trying to trying to stop him before he gets more people. And, of course, you know, he's like, he ain't going to stop until they catch him and stuff. That's essentially what this is. It's it's not like, a, it's more of a thriller, not like a slasher, like like Jason Voorhees, like slasher movie. It's more of like a thriller. But I thought this was a kind of a fun thriller. Um, there's no features on this one, um, but actually a pretty cool movie. You know, like I said, not perfect, but it was actually pretty cool. Okay, now on to the DVDs. I got five DVDs here. Um, now, the first one here I got on DVD. I Mainly, I got this one just to support my two favorite YouTubers. You can get this at Walmart for uh, $10 for $9.96. Um, this is a movie called Restricted Area here on DVD. And I thought the movie was okay. But I, I'm still going to keep this one because of the, uh, the intro scene. Because it, it's, it's basically like a... 
a slash movie, a group of these people at this camp, and they're getting killed off one by one by this guy in a mask. Um, but, of course, the YouTubers are in it, is, and you know, it's, his name is on here, too. Sean C. Phillips, you know, Cool Duder, and uh, Danny Sinistalker's in this as well. You know, they're in it for, like, the first ten minutes. And it's like with this movie, you know, the, the only cool scene about this movie was their part in the movie, and then that, that was it. Um... But I, I absolutely, I, I'll still keep this one just because of that part. Because i got to support my favorite YouTubers, you know. Um, but really, it was all right. All right, these next two ones I got. Now, these were ones I got at the Dollar Tree. My phone, sorry. But um, these were ones I got at the Dollar Tree a couple months ago. One of them I'm going to keep. The other one I'm going to get rid of. Because one of them I kind of gotten bored with. The other one I didn't get bored with it. But it's um, some Scooby-Doo here on DVD. Um, oh, now, this is the one I am going to keep, the chill-out Scooby-Doo. I think I might have seen this one in, on TV years ago. I'm not sure. But this is... Um, it starts off with, you know, Shaggy and Scooby. The um, Scooby-Doo, they, uh, they're on this plane, and they get um, sent to... Um, I think it was, like, Antarctica. And, of course, there's, like, this legend about this abominable snowman. Um you know, terrorizing the whole little town that's in Antarctica, um, and, you know, um, sh um, the other, the other guys, you know, they're trying to figure out where they're at, because they can't find them anywhere, um, but I actually thought this one was really cool, um, this one, I, d I did not get bored with this one, I actually thought this was a cool Scooby-Doo movie, I really hope Dollar Tree carries in more Scooby-Doo ones, because I'd really like to get, get as many as I can for a dollar, this one, however, I thought was okay, um, I, kind of gotten bored with this one, um, but this was, uh, Scooby-Doo, Abracadabra-Doo, here on DVD, I don't know, I thought this one was alright, um, but as far as I know, n neither one of these movies are on, uh, Blu-ray, though, um, alright, this next one right here, um, this is a movie I've been wanting to see for quite some time, and I absolutely really enjoyed this one, um, and, you know, uh, Josh Peck is in this, and this was when, um, this was way before, you know, Drake and Josh, um, you know, he's in a, he's like 10 in this one. Um, this is a movie called Snow Day here on DVD, which hopefully gets a Blu-ray release. Same thing with uh, Beavis and Butthead, Duel America, but it's not Nickelodeon, but uh, Good Burger. And I know the Rugrats movies, they were supposed to come out the Blu-ray. I don't know what happened with them. Um, they got canceled, but hopefully maybe they'll, they'll put them out on Blu-ray one day. Um, but, you know, this movie is basically, you know, you know, it's... It ends up being a snow day, and of course, it's they get snow, and school's out, and it's unexpected, you know. Um, you know, Chevy chases in this, and uh, you know he plays like um, he plays the father in the movie, but he, he's also like the the news reporter, and um, basically, you know, there's like there's like some stuff going on like in the snow, like um, like the um, the one the one character they're, that they're afraid of, this guy right here, they're like scared of him because they they like I, I forgot what they call him, but uh. But, you know, they don't like him because, like, he plows the snow and stuff, and he scares the kids. Um, you know, the one kid is, has a crush on this popular girl that, she, um, and she just, uh, that, that just, she just got broken up with, uh, this mean boyfriend, and, uh, you know, he, he wants to go out with her. Um, you know, just, just a really fun movie. I absolutely really enjoy this one, but there is a couple special, special features on here. You get a commentary, and you get a featurette. Cast and crew interviews, Nick exclusives, um, but um, and a snow day scoop featurette. Um, but really fun movie. I absolutely really like this one. And the last one here I got. Now the only reason I bought this was to support my best friend Kristen Farley, which she's known for T Total Drama Island, uh, this show of course, and uh, Bad Bar. And I mainly know know her from a Goosebump episode, um, you know, the Go, Go Eat Worms episode, um, but this is a movie called, uh, or it's a show called, uh, Little Bear, Feel Better Little Bear here on a DVD. This one I actually found at a, uh, at a Dollar General for only like $2, um, but I remember always really liking the show as a kid. I did not know, you know, someone that was on one of my favorite shows as a kid, Goosebumps, she was on the show. And I watched the show as well when I was little. Um, but, you know, it was really fun rewatching some of these episodes that are on here. Because I have not watched this show in years. Um, and there was like 12 episodes on here. Um, cool, like there was one when uh, 
little little bear goes to the moon. There was one where uh, what was the other one? It's one when he um he plays hide and seek with his friends. There was one when he um goes fishing with um with his friend Owl. But really, really fun show. Um, you know, I really hope one day maybe they'll. I don't know if there was any other DVD releases of the show. To be honest, um, I, I I need to look that up. Um, but hopefully maybe one day they'll put like a complete series out, like put out the Blu-ray or shell factor him and put him out i don't know but, but i absolutely really thought this was a fun show to watch um but really enjoy it but that is it for um this dvd and blu-ray update so i hope you guys enjoyed this video thanks for watching and i'll see you guys later bye